There is nothing in the DM that can remotely threaten my marriage. Nothing. Because, you know, her suggestion was, no, if I were to reveal, I can destroy your marriages. There is nothing in there that could potentially destroy anyone's marriage, much less my own. So my admonition to Matale is that if there's something in there that you are convinced of that will destroy my marriage, honey, more power to you. Honey, have at it. Honey, take it to the bridge. Honey, to the left, to the left. Do whatever the hell you want. Doesn't make any difference. It doesn't. You know why? Because there's nothing in there that is abnormal or incriminating. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I was invited by Hot FM to be a guest on, on the radio show. And sitting next to me was this very amiable, uh, dark-skinned girl. We talked on radio. We co-hosted. And then after the show, sitting next to her, I began to make small talk with her. Because she was very, very nice. She was very, uh, what's the word? She was amiable. You know the word amiable? Amiable means, you know, someone that you can easily speak to. So in the course of the conversation, I said to her, I said, so what's, what's your name? Because I, I didn't know who she was at that time. And, and this was way before she was famous. This was way before. I don't even think she had a, a significant uh, Facebook print. I don't think she had a digital footprint at the time, you know. And she looked at me and she said my name is Mutale Mwanza. but this is what i found interesting about her is that even when we were on radio she and she wore shades you know she wore sunglasses and for the life of me i couldn't figure out why and at the time i was thinking well maybe this is just part of her persona because there are people like that there are people that that love to wear shades all day every day every time it's like that old song, I wear my sunglasses at night. So that's the one thing that stuck out to me. And I kept, and I almost asked her, I said, Mutala, do you mind if I ask you, uh, why, why do you wear shades during the day? I didn't ask her that, but in my heart, I was, I wanted to ask her that, but, but I didn't. So we, you know, we talked and, 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 and that was the end of that. And I, and you know, I, I didn't talked to her in a long time and then a few i guess m might have been a year later i started hearing this buzz about this person named Mutale Mwanza. and i kept on thinking who is this chick what's going on i, did, 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 I think one of the major um controversies at that time it could have been a, a little later but one of the major controversies was that she had been on the radio with Bowman Lusambo. And I think she told, she said something to Bowman, something like, you know, put the, put, put the word respect in the front, in front of my name or something like that. And, and then when I saw her again, that's when I remembered who she was. I said, that's the chick from the, from the radio station, from the hot FM. The girl with the shades, the amiable girl, is is what I was thinking. <laughs> Somebody says, make it quick, the battery is flat. Guys, I'm not going to rush through this, okay? So if you've got the patience to sit there and listen to me for 20 minutes, you're just going to have to do it. So anyway, a, a short time after that, I was, I, I met her, I, I forget where it was we met, but we talked. And then we exchanged numbers. Now, here's the thing. As vloggers, and this is the point I want to make to you. Zambia has a very small community of vloggers. Very small. 
we're not like nigeria and i said this in the post the other day we're not like nigeria or america they have millions of vloggers but zambia you can literally count us on two fingers there are very few vloggers and because there are so few of us we know one of them or another it's that six degrees of separation we know one another and because we know each other we speak to each other on a regular all of the influences every single solitary influencer that you can think of in zambia just know we are a network of people we speak to one another constantly talk to one another i speak to ken dumbo i speak to tissa the trendsetter i speak to lily matambo i speak to believe it or not mutale mwanza i have her number we've spoken many times i remember this one time i did a prank on her how do you think i did that it's because i had a number so i did a prank that i posted and this was back when her and i used to get along you know and and, and then as a gesture of friendship and, and and facebook buzz because what we do let me explain this what we do as, as influencers is that we cross pollinate what that means is my audience and Mutale Mwanza's audience are basically two different audiences. So when we cross pollinate, I can tap into her audience and her audience taps into my audience. It's networking. It's a form of digital networking and it's very important to do. There is no exclusivity here. You never walk around thinking, you know, you're the only influencer in the world and you can do it by yourself. No, it's cross pollination. And cross-pollination oftentimes involves, you know, you talk to one another. You, you maybe you, you invite someone as, your, as a guest on your show and vice versa. So we, we've spoken many times. And, and, and I did this prank on her. And, and then I remember I took her a cake and I, I made a big thing out of it. You know, I went to Hot FM and I delivered a cake and, and stuff like that. But where we began to part ways in terms of the way we approach so social media is when Mutali Mwanza posted something about Honorable Mwana Katwe. And I gave my opinion on that. A and this is where I want you to really pay attention. That was the inflection point in terms of my friendship with Mutali Mwanza, if it was a friendship. That was where we parted ways because I got on social media and I said, you have to be respectful. Now, to give you a bit of backstory, and unfortunately, I have to divulge this because so that you, you have a clear picture. Mutale Mwanza's sister phoned me and said, Mutale is very hurt that you went on social media and you told her to apologize because she was going to apologize anyway. But now that you have sort of jumped the gun, when she does apologize, people will think that she's apologized because Simon Mwewa told her to apologize. Mutale wanted to apologize on her own terms, not because someone told her to. So I told Mutale's sister, I said, well, she's my friend. I can tell her that. And then I tried to phone Mutale after my post girl wouldn't pick up my phone she wouldn't pick up my telephone calls she stopped her sister told me Mutale Mwanza's sister told me Simon because they call me Simon Mutale values loyalty more than anything else I said what she said yeah the very fact that you went on social media and you spoke against her, you said that she was disrespectful to Honorable Mwanakatwe, Mutale considered that to be disloyal. I said, what are you talking about? There's no loyalty here. That was my opinion. That was my opinion. And I was, I felt that I was giving valuable advice to someone that I thought was a digital colleague she said no Mutale doesn't see it that way Mutale sees you as someone that betrayed her click 
I said, okay, if that's the way it's going to be, that's just the way it's going to be. Okay. And, and a few times after that, I remember Tivwange, the, the TV show, you know, the DSTV TV show, they invited me to be a guest on that show. And this was after this Matalim Wanza issue that I posted. And I asked the producers, I said, does Mutali know that I'm coming? And the guy says, yeah, she knows. I got on the set of Tivwange. I considered it as playful banter. I did. I mean, her and I, if you watch that show, there was a bit of tension, but I was trying to make it as light as possible. But Mutali just had this thing like, you know, you betrayed me, man. You spoke against me. And so therefore I'm putting a line through your name instead of under it. I was trying very, very hard to just be as banterful as possible. Mutali wasn't having it. She just thought, no, you're, you're not a good guy. You spoke against me. She said, she, she, she gave off that vibe. So we went through that and then she pulled this stunt where she she said she bought a phone for 89 what was it 87,000 quacho or something now I, as a social media personality i know how this works and sure you can sit there and say but well that's just that's her way of making money that's her style of doing it i disagree with that I got on social media and I said, Matali didn't spend no 87,000 kwacha on a phone. What they do is that they, they, they agree with, the, with the, the owner of the product, the business. They, they, the social media personalities, when you see a situation like that, where a social media personality says, oh, I spent... 87,000 kwacha of my money to buy a product that's not true honey nobody has 87,000 kwacha to purchase a phone now you can sit there and argue and say but Mwero, you don't know her bank account trust me nobody even if they had the money they're not going to spend 87 on a phone it's all a gimmick if it's a gimmick say it is don't mislead the public that was my point but of course you know that's considered in some circles some people may say well no where well, you got yourself involved in something that you had no business involving yourself in no this social media space every single one of us are responsible for what we put out don't put out falsehoods if you listen to zikta that's one of the things they discourage don't be misleading because you are an influencer if you've got 1 million people that follow you which she does don't deceive people that was my my point but of course that point was lost in translation just people including Mutala herself people just thought no we're just being jealous there was no jealousy what am i being jealous about all I'm saying is that if you're going to be an influencer, be responsible. That's all. What's difficult about that? So again, that's another, that was another thing that she didn't like that I said, you know, she became very angry. So now she was a guest <laughs> on, on, on Hot FM a few days ago. They called her back to be a guest on that, that, that show. And the host asked her a very leading question. And it was a baiting question. You know, baiting, to bait. You know what it is to bait? To bait means, you know, you've got, for those of you that are, that are fishing enthusiasts, you know, you go fishing for fish. You have a, a fishing rod. And then you've got a line. And at the end, you've got a hook. And on the hook, you put some food on that hook. That's called baiting. So when you bait the hook, you put food on the hook, you throw it in the river, and then it, it sort of, it's in the water, and the fish sees the little thingy and boom, grabs the bait. The hot FM radio host was baiting Mutale, trying to get a, 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 a reaction out of her by saying to her, 
there's a social media vlogger and and the guy knows who i am he could have just simply said there's this, this simon Mwewale in television he was talking about the way you raise your eh, your son what do you think or how does that affect you but oh no he he decided to play it safe and he called me a, there's a certain social media personality and of course Montale took the bait and she went running with it and before i say that this is what i was thinking about Mutale had a few you guys remember a few days ago she did a video where she was twerking on a bed in her room and, and i'm in all fairness she was fully clothed okay and i did a video where i said in america Muta that's perfectly normal in the states in fact in america that's nothing in america that Mutale Mwanza twerking fully clothed clothed on her bed with her blessed assurance up in the air Mutale Mwanza is a nun in america because that's nothing but i did a video where i said you know what you're a mother and you have a son and all i was saying is that you as an influencer everything you do you have to do it within the context of your son that's all i'm saying because i know how social media is i know how children are children are the worst bullies in the world if you think that social media is bad oh honey wait till you go to high school there are some emotional mercenaries in high school not even high school go to primary school those kids are brutal and as a father because i'm a dad i've got four kids for goodness sake all i was saying was mutale you can't live your life for you or you alone you can't do it and i gave her this advice and i give this advice to all social media personalities you have to choose one or the other you can't have both if you're going to be someone that posts pictures of you as a mother at your son's graduation you can't then turn around the following day and then post a video of you twerking with your blessed assurance stuck up in the air in a sexual manner in the doggy style position you can't do it you can't or at least you shouldn't because i know there's some of you but who are you to tell her what to do and what not to do well she's an influencer for goodness sake so everything she does has a ripple effect that was my point well, here it is that hot fm radio dj goaded and baited mutalimwanza and mutalimwanza went off she literally went off the chains boy she said i'm not going to listen to that man and she said with with a big tush now here's the thing guys and let me tell you let me tell you who started that it was that rascal chilof yatayali he started this narrative of Mwewa having a big tush and then i looked at myself and i said what are they talking about i'm a big tall guy i'm more i'm regular there's nothing strange and abstract about my tush there's nothing abnormal about my blessed assurance it is proportionate to the way i'm designed and by the way i am fearfully and wonderfully made you have to know that i don't walk around saying to you i'm fearfully and wonderfully made i don't do that you know why because it's, it's a given it's obvious here it is you've got these jokers people like mutale mwanza and and uh, uh chilofia tayali that tried to create a false narrative andrew ejimadu that rascal that you guys call seer nothing he tried to do the same thing he tried to label me as somebody with a big like a with a big behind when i'm regular guys don't let people body shame you unnecessarily on facebook if you know you're normal say you're normal if somebody says you've got a strange looking face and you know you're beautiful honey just say i'm beautiful doesn't matter what you say now here's the thing yeah he did he's the dial he's the one that started this thing years ago okay and you guys you guys bought into that and this is the reason i post pictures of myself from every angle so that you can see and you know so many people when i post it they're like what's strange about that i mean you look regular to me it is an attempt to make you think that you're abnormal when you're not you're fine i'm fine i've always said that i'm fine there's nothing wrong with me 
in terms of that, my physicality, there's nothing wrong with me. Now, here's, here's the other thing. Mutale said, and this is what I want to hone in on. Mutale said, the man is constantly in my DM. Of course I am. I, well, at least I was. We used to communicate. We used to talk. Just like I talk to every other vlogger. Every vlogger in Zambia, spe we speak to one another. We're in each other's DMs. I can equally say that about her. She's in my DM. You know how? Because we speak. We speak. Well, we used to. We used to talk. But here's the difference. There is nothing in the DM that can remotely threaten my marriage. Nothing. Because, you know, her suggestion was, no, if I were to reveal, I can destroy your marriages. There is nothing in there that could potentially destroy anyone's marriage, much less my own. So my admonition to Matale is that if there's something in there that you are convinced of that will destroy my marriage, honey, more power to you. Honey, have at it. Honey, take it to the bridge. Honey, to the left, to the left. Do whatever the hell you want. Doesn't make any difference. It doesn't. You know why? Because there's nothing in there that is abnormal or incriminating. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.